All right, this is a uh, HP uh, G60 laptop. Uh, please don't ask me if I'm selling this one because I have one of these that are working and I'm using this for spare parts. Now I've already mo removed the uh, two screws to the access panel. I do want to show you how to put this back on though. This is how you gain access to the hard drive. And to save time I remove the three screws that you need to remove. You need a uh, thin screw, uh, Phillips head screwdriver to do all this. Uh, you're going to take your tab here and pull it back and then up. All right, if there was a hard drive in here, such as this one, all right, you would have four screws on the sides to take off. The same small Phillips head screws, and you set them aside. When you put your new hard drive in, just like I did here, you pop in your four screws. Make sure your data and your power is on this side. I'm going to take this and put this back, if it'll come out. <laughs> put it back here, and then I'm going to take it face down with the tab up, just like I pulled it out, put it in, and pull it forward. The BIOS battery is right there, and I've never had to change one of these on this uh, this one, but if you need one, eBay is the best place to get it. Make sure it is new, and that the feedback is good on that person. Now, when you put this panel back on, there's two clips here that go into here. And you're gonna slide this in, push it down, and slide in, and you're gonna put these down. I wanna show you something here. When I you, You're gonna hear some clicking. All right, when these go down, and when you tighten this down, I get this uh, feedback from people all the time about this. Uh, hey, uh, Bill, am I, am I going to break something when I do this? And no, you're not. If you do, then it's a defective part. See this one part right here that's not down? Okay, I'm going to push. Hard. Okay, and you're not going to break anything. It needs to be flat. This is where the RAM chips are. Be careful of uh, electrostatic display when you're in here. All right, uh, typically you want to ground yourself on some kind of metal. This is a laptop, and uh, when you're dealing with memory, you want to pop out the battery. Wait for about 10 seconds so the power that the battery was supplying where the computer's off discharges. Okay, this is a bad computer. I'm really not worried about this particular computer. So I'm going to take, uh, there's two tabs right here. Okay, right there and right there. All right, I'm going to take this tab and I'm going to push it back on both sides. And this and uh, this memory chip should pop up. It better pop up. I just put them in. They're, they're, um, they're extra RAM chips. Pops up and comes out. The bottom one, the bottom one is the same way. Uh, these are one gig chips. Uh, I should have had it pushed on both sides. I don't know if the other side's broken or not on this. Like I said, this is a defective computer. All right. Um, so uh, these are HP authentic parts. They have the replace with stickers on them. One gig chips. These are very good chips. I have. To, I might do a YouTube video with all the memory chips I have. It's crazy. Uh, you're gonna put the screwdriver down because uh, you need both hands. When you put these back in, if you there's a keyway here, and you could look down there and see where the keyway is to make sure you don't put it. Try putting it in backwards, and you're gonna slide this in. And the bottom one is a tickler to do. All right, you want to slide all the way in, have it, no pin should be showing, and push down, click, and one side clicked. Like I said, this is probably a defective. No, they're in, they're both sides. You should get some kind of a click, not as loud as a desktop. Now, I want to show you something. What happens frequently, somebody, Bill, I just, uh, somebody will say, Bill, I just upgraded my RAM on my computer and it doesn't work. This has to be seated all the way in, okay? If you come back and have it back like this, and push it down, it'll click. But it's halfway in. You can't do that, all right? So make sure they're all the way in and you have a two clicks at the same time. It's not like going that way. It's two clicks at the same time. And they're in good. When you boot up, it should boot up fine, providing your computer's good. You put this back on and no special things about this and to put the screws back down, put your battery back in. On both sides. and put that down, screw them back in, you should be good to go. And uh, uh, I would like the feedback inputs and uh, pass it on to friends. Subscribe, see more, bye.